a lot of people have wanted to get involved in sport and there hasn't been enough people to take them on board. So they've gone onto things like waiting lists and, and a few have sort of uh, fallen behind and, and not been as interested sort of a year on, which is a shame. There's no doubt the Olympics has inspired youngsters. These North London teenagers are still enthused. I was like, oh, I want to be like that person one day. So I was like, started training. I think, I think that um, Olympics did actually inspire the younger generation, especially me. Athletics clubs rely on volunteers to coach athletes and run the clubs. But the chair of London Athletics says there simply aren't enough volunteers. The whole volunteer effort was not as coordinated as you would imagine. I mean, when you, when you look at the games, you've got 70,000 games makers and, and they were completely brilliant. But where are they now? I, I've got no clue uh, and I'm the chairman of London Athletics, so I should know. As well as a lack of volunteers, there are also issues with facilities. This athletics track is just four miles from the Olympic Stadium. But the government insists funding has gone up and says athletics clubs should have been ready for increased demand. The sports that set themselves up for this properly, that realised what needed to be done, have had an extremely impressive post-2012 period. If you look at the progress made in many, many hockey clubs, in many, many gymnastics clubs, in many, many boxing clubs, it is incredibly impressive. While those who run sport debate who's to blame, the athletes just hope this won't be a missed opportunity. We need kids involved in sport because ultimately we're going we're to breed a bunch of kids who sit on computers and sit inside and, and can't be bothered with it and become disillusioned with sport. We then fail as a country having fit young people and, and the next level of sportsmen. It's, it's going to be a real shame if it doesn't work out.